Hello, River Rats. My name is Mrs. Kavaki, and I'm the department chair for the visual arts department at Huron, and I'm excited to tell you about the offerings we have in our visual arts department. In our art classes, we learn by doing. We believe in hands-on learning. We do a lot of project-based learning, so you can be sure that you'll be actively engaged in your learning. We try to get out into the world, drawing and making art and looking at art and going on field trips and giving you a chance to be really involved. These are our offerings we have, and I'm really proud of all the things that we offer at Huron. We have by far the largest, most wide ranging offerings um, of any high school in the area, which is pretty cool. Um, and so I'm gonna go through each one of these classes so you can learn a little bit about them and, and see which one is the right fit for you. If you haven't taken an art class yet at Huron, you'll need to start with art and design. It is our prerequisite class for our other courses. And almost all of the classes I'm gonna show you today are semester long classes, including art and design. Um, this is a beginning class for students who are just getting started in art, but it will also foster creativity and growth in students who are really passionate about art and love to make it. Um, don't worry if you don't know how to draw, that's what we learn. But again, we give you lots of opportunities to sort of meet you where you are and, and help you get better. It's primarily a two-dimensional um, focus class, so drawing and painting. Um, and we also really encourage the process and getting involved in your own creative process and, and finding your own voice as an artist. We offer draw, paint, print, or drawing, painting, and printmaking. Um, this is a great course for students who like to draw and paint and have taken art and design and want to take it to the next level. So we'll be doing kind of more advanced and sophisticated projects, things like working in acrylic paint, um, pastels, and we do some printmaking too. We have some of those old-fashioned printmaker, um, printmakers, sorry, printing presses. Um, that you get to use and, and some other sort of experimental techniques. And the work that gets made in this class is really, really high level. If you like to get your hands dirty and work in three-dimensional mediums, let me recommend ceramics and sculpture. Um, it's a really fun class where you get to get your hands a little bit dirty um, and you are doing hand building techniques and working on a potter's wheel. We have a really big program. We have our, all of our own um, several different kilns. We make our own clay. Um, and again, we have several potter's wheels. So you'll get really into the whole process and you'll be making both functional pieces like cups and mugs and bases and plates and also sculptural pieces. We offer jewelry and metalwork, and this is a class that few high schools offer. So it's pretty, pretty cool that we do. Um, and in this class, you'll be using all sorts of tools to create wearable art. You'll learn things like soldering and riveting and sawing. Um, so you get to actually use soldering torches and, and different tools to make these really lovely fine-tuned um, wearable works of art. We're also really lucky to offer darkroom photography. This is a class that few high schools offer anymore. Um, and so this is that sort of very old school type of photography where you're using the film cameras, um, you're developing your own black and white film in a dark room, your own photographic prints as well. If you've ever seen like on TVs and movie, those red light rooms where people are, are making photos, that's what you're gonna be doing. Um, the cool thing about this class and all of the classes at Huron is you don't have to have this equipment. We provide everything for you. So we have the cameras, the film, the photo paper, all of the equipment. So you get to have this really unique experience and all you have to do is show up and use the stuff we provide for you. And this is a really, really engaging process. Students get really into it. Of course, we also offer digital photography to be part of the 21st century. Um, and again, we, we have the cameras that you'll use. Um, this is a, a very tech-based class. So you'll be working in the computer lab a lot. Not only will you be out taking photos um, with the cameras we have, but then you'll be doing the editing with Photoshop in our lab. Um, and so students learn some really fantastic both photographic um, skills, but also some image manipulation skills. 
And photography is definitely a good vocational class to take too, because this is a potential career path. We try to get you out in the world taking photos and getting some real hands-on experience. We offer graphic design. This is a really good course that I would recommend for students who are considering pursuing art, especially um, pursuing it after high school, especially if you like technology and computers. Um, you'll be using um, the Photoshop Creative Suite to create posters and logos and lots of sort of uh, really practical applications of art, t-shirt design, phone design. And this is also a great sort of inroad for people who are interested in animation and video game design because you're learning those computer manipulation skills with art. If you're more of a hands-on experimental person, I would recommend mixed media. Um, this is one of our newer classes and it offers a wide range of potential materials that you could be working with, both 2D and 3D. And what we really encourage in this class is experimentation, thinking of ways that you can use non-traditional materials or pairing materials in ways that people often don't. So it allows you to be really creative and innovative with the types of art you make. For the serious art student, um, you can take advanced portfolio and open studio. These are each semester long classes and these are recommended for students who are potentially considering pursuing art after high school or who just really want to take their art to the next level. So you would need to be pretty self-motivated um, and have some ideas of the types of art you really, really wanna make. You can take this as early as sophomore year, but usually it's focused more for juniors and seniors. And a lot of students who take this class um, can use their work for college admissions for their art portfolios. And our last offering I want to tell you about is our IB diploma program. And this class is a little different than the previous classes I've mentioned, because rather than a semester, it is a two year course. And um, it is part of our IB diploma program. You don't have to be a full diploma program student to take this class. You can just choose this class on its own. Um, what's exciting about this class is since it's two years, um, you get to really experiment with different media. So we don't just focus on one type of media. We do drawing, we do sculpture, we do digital photography. We do a lot of non-traditional um, materials as well. And um, we really focus, again, on the process and experimentation. The work that gets made in this class is really, really phenomenal. And these students, many of these students go on to art school. We have lots of students that get scholarships, big scholarships for their art portfolios, not just from this class, but from, from our entire program. But you can see the work in this class is really diverse um, because by the end of senior year, students are really focused on the media that they prefer. We also do some college visits and do some, um, some museum visits and field trips and things like that. And at the end of this course, our seniors put on a personal exhibition. So that's the kind of the exciting end to this program of um, the IB visual arts. A big part of our program is that we encourage our students to showcase their work in art shows and competitions. We do this locally all the way up through the national level and our students tend to do really well. And one of the most exciting nights of our Huron community every year is Huron Art Night where every student in the program gets to display their work. It's a big celebration. The community comes together. There's food, there's music, there's activities. And I'm going to end this presentation with a video of our most recent art night. Um, but if you do have any questions, I hope you'll contact me. And I hope that you will consider taking some art classes at Huron High School.